Ron Hallberg, Partyville head coach. You guys got a pretty good break. I guess it was a break. You, you had the funky kind of uh, kickoff style all, all game with kind of the, you know, the, the toe into the ground kind of kick. But you got a good break right away on that first kick. It bounced off one of their guys, and you recovered what I guess amounted to an onside kick, huh? Yeah, it worked out that way. It's not really what is planned. We were just trying to squib it so that way they can't catch it and come forward and always, you know, puts them on the defensive as far as handling the ball. You know, we were really trying to onside it, but it, hey, we'll take it. <laughs> was, was that kind of the, the strategy to keep it out of their um, return man, Austin Baker's hands? No, we've, we've been trying to do that all year. Now, sometimes he kicks it in the air and then we yell at him. So. <laughs> um, and, then you, and then you made that break pay off with the early touchdown. Yeah. And, and really, they got the one touchdown to make it 12-7, but it seemed like they had a hard time getting any momentum. They were playing yeah. uphill the rest of the way after that first onside kick and then touchdown. Piece. Yeah, yeah, it definitely gave us momentum going in. And uh, again, we, we just got to do a better job of not 12 penalties. I mean, every time we had, if you factor in all the yards that we could have had with the penalties, I, it would have been outrageous. But it is what it is. We'll have to clean it up and get ready for the playoffs. They made it 12-7 a little bit before halftime. How yeah. important was it to get the first touchdown of the second half and, and make it 18-7? Yeah, that's always really important. One thing that we've done as Cam's been our quarterback is we've really done well in the second half, uh, the, the points that we've put up. And, and we hit a little bit of a snafu, but again, we, we just kept hurting ourselves. You know, Had an interception that was returned out to the 50-yard line. We had a block in the back, so it brought it back down to the 10. And then we had two long touchdowns that I know Kyle was called, for Kyle that was called back. So, so we just got to get over that because when you get a holding penalty when you're a running team now it's, it's first and twenty that makes it a little bit more difficult on yourself. With the way you mentioned, you guys have been doing well in the second half with yes. Cam as a quarterback. Do you think some of that is? He's just so quick, and that option style yep. um, that you guys have kind of evolved into with him at quarterback, you guys kind of wear teams down with, with him back there running that option. Yeah, and, and like you said, Cam's such a special athlete. Like if there is a seam, he, he's going to find that seam. And uh, as the game was going on, they were flying so far outside for our outside option, he just started cutting it back up inside, and we were making some good gains on that too. Really not designed, but I'll take credit for it. <laughs> I'm going <gonna, laughs> to put you on the spot a little bit yes. here. I, I overheard you saying to the guys just now, you, you don't want this season to end. Yep. Um, you didn't have Cam for the first three games, and, right. and it, seem, it seems like other than maybe that Deerfield game, you know, you guys have really gotten stronger yeah. as the season has worn on. These last two wins against, against really good teams right. to go into the postseason. How do you take that and, and make it from not wanting the season to end to, to making it and turning it into a deep postseason run? Well, the key is uh, just getting in there, watching film, and correcting our mistakes, you know, being humble, being coachable, and seeing what we've done wrong so what we can do better. Um, and I think that's what we'll do. And the one thing about this senior group, that's why I don't want this year to end, is because it's just been a great senior class. Everything I've asked for them to do, they've done it. A lot of people have... Uh, moved from tight end to guard and done everything for the team. So it's, it's so much fun to coach a team or a group of young men that are all about team. So You have to feel like as well as you guys are playing with, with the two quality runners that you have in the backfield and Cam's got an arm, you know, yep. you might hope, hope he'd be a little more accurate at times, but he certainly has a strong arm. Yep. You guys have to feel like the way you're going right now, you're going to be tough to beat in the playoffs. Yeah, huh? We have two explosive backs, and so that puts a lot of pressure on teams. And, uh, yeah, Cam's He's accurate. It's just he's got to learn that there's some touch. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's throwing rocket balls at everybody, so we'll, we'll work on it. But, you know, this is week six of him being a quarterback, so. How, we'll get better. Can you imagine a better finish this season for you guys? I mean, you knew it was going to be tough with these two games, yep. week seven and eight, but you guys played well in both, and, and to take that momentum with you now into the playoffs, can you imagine a better finish to the season for you guys, regular season anyway? Yeah, that it keeps going on. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Anything else? No. Nope. Awesome. Great. Congratulations. Good luck in the playoffs.